Welcome to SME SOS. This is the life raft that we inflate when things are tough for small businesses. And it has been an absolute joy. We are on episode 10. That means we've gone back to back every single day for 10 days between 10 and 11 to help the small business community. I'm so glad to be here. Today we're talking about Pinterest and we're talking about Pinterest because it is so important that we diversify where we sell our products and our, well, products today, okay, everyone? But the thing is, even if you own a service, even if you own a restaurant, a hair salon, all of these sorts of things, actually, think about that, a hair salon having the most awesome Pinterest boards, wouldn't you absolutely love that? Think of all the ways, so I have to adjust everything as I'm on screen, because me getting here, I'm a few minutes late to class, everyone, sorry about that, um, but the day started very early, 6am, um, I was cracking on with things, um, and so it's been a very, very busy day already, um, but I love to do these, I love to help you, so it's a complete priority for me, but excuse me as I adjust everything, uh, wipe the mascara as I slap it on, um, get make sure that something is colour coordinated, don't know about all this green going on, I try to coordinate it, um, but I don't know what it's looking like today, but imagine that hair salon having the most amazing Pinterest board, so imagine your hairdresser where you go having this Pinterest board that you can't stop telling everyone about they've got to go and look at it because it's hair salons all over the world it's got their unique hairbrushes that they'd created they have the most unbelievable area for children to get their hair cut or hair washed you'd follow it wouldn't you you would be resonating with that brand more and more. You'd be surprised and delighted. Remember, that is an absolute uh, little gem of a tip. Does your business surprise and delight? Ask, uh, really ask yourself that question today. Does it surprise and delight? Um, we're going to be talking to an expert as ever. We bring on the experts here so that you can ask them anything. We've got a wonderful lady called Rachel um, Waring who's going to, to get us all up to speed on all things Pinterest. So don't worry if Pinterest is not on your mega to-do list that's fine. Well, if it's on your mega to-do list, but not the to-do list you actually ever get to, um, that's totally fine. We're going to sort that out. We're also going to be talking to Lindsay, founder of Wood Paper Scissors, um, who has used Pinterest to grow her business. But actually, there was a moment where Pinterest came into her life. And I'm going to be really interested to see, you know, there was almost life before Pinterest and life after Pinterest. So we're going to be able to really get into, did it actually change her life? Does it actually bring in sales? So remember, one of the reasons, and so well, I'm going to ask you that question, aren't I? This is my last week. Let's get as many people being helped as, um, as possible. We need to tag as many people in right now. So if you know someone who should bring in Pinterest, you think they've got utter style, they've got such an eye, they have so many things to say, they are really, really struggling, please tag in right now those who we need to help. Remember, we are all in it together. Imagine if someone was watching this and then tagging you in. Wouldn't that feel nice to have someone who's got your back? Because this is what this community is about. We have each other's back. We're not a small business community when there's one or two of us. The only reason we're a community is if we're in it together. The only reason there's an industry is because we're in it together. So you can't flourish unless there is a small business industry. So please tag in. Look at Yellow Fest. Thank you so many much. Uh, Crafts for you. You're tagging people in. Um, the Fusion Florist. You're tagging people in. Uh, Ministry Kitchen. The Little Coach House. Morning, little coach house. Um, the island culture, you're tagging people in. Thank you. Tag, tag, tag. So the reason that we're doing this, remember, is that we started 10 days ago freaking out about the algorithm on Instagram. We knew sales were low. We're now in Easter holidays. So sales are now going to be even lower than they were even were before. Many of us looking at alternative ways to not put all our eggs in one basket. I'm using that quite a lot at the moment in this Easter time. 
Oh my, no, I'm not going to story steal. I'm showing you something on Friday. On Friday, we're going to have a tea party, everybody. And I want you to bring, do you remember that in first SME SOS? I thought we would just go back and do a little wink to those Friday tea parties that we had on SME SOS. Do you remember? Oh my God. I mean, what they used to do, they used to kill me off, by the way. I would drink an extra bottle of wine, and not an extra, an entire bottle of wine rather than two very, very large glasses because of that. And so we're going to go back to the good old days and have a tea party to celebrate the end of this SME SOS um, series. Um, what was I saying though? We were saying all our eggs in one basket. So what were the alternatives, Holly? Well, here's one today, Pinterest. We're going to be talking about sales and emails. We've been talking about, haven't we, lots of different things these last 10 days about the alternative to Instagram. Remember what would happen, because you hear this about Channel 4 being sold off today. So Channel 4 might be being sold. Um, what would happen if Instagram was sold? And suddenly they decided that it wouldn't be a platform to support small businesses. Just imagine these things. What would happen to your company? So um, shoppers. Oh, here we go. So here's some nice sexy stats. We know we like those. Um, shoppers on Pinterest spend 40% more per month than people on other platforms. No, no doubt they do, right? No doubt they do. You only have to go on to Pinterest. You know, the way, and by the way, please go and follow Holly and Co on Pinterest. If you've not discovered us, it is freaking glorious because Pinterest is that place that you can put your videos, your still images. You can pull from all over the world. You can create mood boards around your interest areas. We, you should go and have a look at Pinterest for Holly and Co. There's nothing else like it. And we know that because we, I'm not the biggest pinner, but my founders and other people in the team are manic pinners. And so actually when you, when we started Holly & Co, when we wanted to get inspiration, we went after finding images on Pinterest and there weren't any. And so Holly & Co for the last seven years has created almost an exceptional library of images and inspiration. So definitely go and check it out. So, def and also, by the way, of course, people are 40% more likely. The moment you go and do anything, I don't know about you, I go and, and make a board. I go and look at Pinterest. If I want to go and um, change my bookshelves, which is what I want to go and do, the first place I go, I don't go to Google, the first place I go is Pinterest. If I want to, if we want to do a, um, uh, we want to concentrate on businesses for good, We'll go to Pinterest and have a look at that because it's far more interesting as a search tool for those who are right side of the brain than Google ever will be. So remember, then you've got people who are already stimulated by visuals. They're already looking for the alternative. If you want the standard, you go to Google. If you want the alternative, which is what small businesses provide, then you go to Pinterest. So if you're not on Pinterest, today is all about going on Pinterest. Jasmine and Lily Floral Reese, hello, Holly. You are positively glowing. Oh, thank you. Um, less makeup today, guys. Huh. Um, Marga, um, Marigold and Letters, so excited for this session. Pinterest has been on the top of my to-do list, so it's perfectly timed. You of all people need to be on Pinterest. Your products would be amazing. And the way that you are and who you are, I just want to see boards that you would just create. You're someone that I already buy from. And so I now want to know what more you have to give me in a way. Remember, we're, we're, we're very selfish as consumers. We want, if we know someone's got style and taste, we want to go and follow them. Uh, Misfit Bakes Vegan. Pinterest is also adding shops which you um, will take you to link to buy your product. Brilliant. So there you go. That is what Pinterest, look, steaming up. I'm so excited. That is what Pinterest are going to do, right? For years, you almost wondered, Pinterest, why can't I click this and buy this? Um, and now that's exactly what is happening. Jenny Gray and PJ, I'm curious about Pinterest. 
Uh, great. Kept for life. Yes, I really want to know if Pinterest will help my business. Well, you're in the right place. Tag other people if you think that they should be on Pinterest too. Um, kept for life. Thank you very... You saw my, my story this morning with my water bottle. Yes, I really want to know if Pinterest will help my business. Sparks Eco Shop. These SME SOSs have been so helpful. I'll miss them and you all when they end. It's such a fantastic community. If I could do this every day, guys, I absolutely would. Um, I really, really would. But don't you worry. This is my happiest place, so I'm not going to be going far. Uh, Wild Argyle, um, I'm so excited for this. I'm here for the move to Pinterest. Brilliant. This is fantastic. Truly Me Studio, I'm not on Pinterest, but I've been curious about it for ages, and I'm looking forward to this live today. Popsy Clunk, Pinterest is great for identifying your customers too. Oh, I'm going to ask about this. If they pin your products, look at what else they pin. Okay, so look, already we've got the tips coming through. The tips are coming through, but no much, uh, not not as many tips as Rachel, um, uh, who's joining us now, who is our expert. Um, she's a creative consultant. Um, she's going to do all things. Um, here we are, Rachel. All things Pinterest today. As ever, everyone. As ever, everyone. Why don't I just slow down? Think about what you want to ask. Ask a question just really clearly, um, and then we can pick up that question. Hi. Hello. Thanks so thank much you. for having me. Oh How my you goodness. Doing? Thank you for being here. So lovely of so you. Exciting. I can't <laughs> wait. Yeah, nor can I. This is <laughs> going to be a fantastic session. So, we're talking about Pinterest. You might have heard, um, because when we did SME SOS this time around, the algorithm was dicking us around on Instagram. People are scared. People are really, you know, they're running their businesses and sales are down. So all of this is about the alternatives potentially to Instagram, what we can do to build our businesses, build our muscle. I'm sure Pinterest is on, I'm sure lots of everyone looks at Pinterest, but maybe they don't look at it for business. So before we crack on, do you want to introduce yourself and, um, and, and what you do? Of course. Well, thanks again for having me. So, so exciting. Also, Pinterest is literally my favourite topic. I chat about it all day long, <laughs> so can't wait. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> so, I'm Rachel, as you said, and I'm a creative consultant. I actually started out in wedding styling. That's my background. Uh -huh. And really, that's where Pinterest was huge for me. Like, I totally built that business on Pinterest. Like if I, I used to say, if I didn't have, you know how people always say like, oh, I, I couldn't live without Instagram. Yeah. I was a little bit like, if my Instagram got shut down, it probably would be all right. But if yeah. Pinterest got shut down, I was like, that I would struggle because it was really a huge, huge platform. Yeah. And now I literally full time chat about creative content, Pinterest strategy and just helping other small businesses with like finding more joy in it all as well because you know yeah. it can be a chore can't it <laughs> yeah even the best things can be a chore when they become it's like anything isn't it when your hobby becomes your business yes then you can't really enjoy your hobby anymore so it, it must be the same for you so this is absolutely brilliant so you um tell me for everyone so let's just start from the basics Yes. What is Pinterest and, you know, where did it start and where's it going, do you think? Yes. Okay. I love this question. So the first thing I always start with is Pinterest is a search engine. So loads of people think that it's like Instagram and they try. And the one thing they do wrong to start with is they try and use it like Instagram because a lot of our shared language is Instagram, right? Like I do yeah. it as well, even though I chat about Pinterest all the time, I still kind of default to Instagram weirdly. And the, the main difference is actually you need to stop thinking about Pinterest like it's Instagram and think of it like it's Google. But like you were just saying, it's like a more creative google yeah <laughs> like it's yeah. a more refined kind of you get more of like the stuff that you might more aesthetic i guess so that's the first thing so in terms of like what it is for the users i think you mentioned in your stories earlier that pinners are planners so yeah. one of my favorite favorite analogies that i use all the time and i know there's some of my students um, in the comments i can see they'll have heard me talk about this to absolute death um but 
one of my favorite analogies to work out where Pinterest sits in terms of your other platforms is if you imagine a party yeah. and say a party's happening or it's already happened, you would probably post the images to Instagram or Facebook and that's where people would like look at the party going on or they would look at it as it's already happened. But where do people go to plan the party? That's Pinterest. So people are future focused and they really go there to plan their ideal life, which is yes. actually what it what makes it a really positive place to be. Yes. And you mentioned like, where is it going? I, I really feel like at the moment, Pinterest is going through a real like renaissance. It's always been huge, but at the moment it's such an exciting place to be because it feels like they've really picked up on this atmosphere online at the moment and what people need and actually what people need and they this is their words not mine is an online oasis like they really want to create somewhere that is positive for people to go where people are planning their ideal life getting inspired and that's the atmosphere there people are going to get inspired basically yeah, so, yeah. oh well done my gosh <laughs> uh, your students are very very lucky i love that it is, isn't it? Because when I, I was giving the analogy, uh, analogy example of my bookcase, the first thing I will do is go and look at Pinterest. Yes. If I was uh, planning a wedding, you would create a board. If you were going to have a baby shower, if you're going to have a party, et cetera, et cetera, all these sorts of things, your home renovation, um, you're having a baby, you're, I don't know, um, you want to do some amazing 60th for your parents, whatever it is, you would go to Pinterest. I also like the fact it actually um, negates a, 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 a group of people who might be searching on Google. Because quite frankly, when I am this small business and potentially everyone I'm speaking to is interested in Pinterest, so I could maybe think that they're creative, that that is where you want. That is your customer base. The fact that they're at Pinterest, right, they are, your, they are a, someone that could be converted. Yeah. Whereas actually on Google, you've actually got to, you know, you're searching through, but you're waiting for that search. Whereas actually the entire audience of um, Pinterest potentially could be someone that's interested in you. Um, we use Pinterest. I use Pinterest that way, that way. So planning things, looking future, et cetera, et cetera. We use Pinterest a lot when we were building Holly & Co. Like having that thought of who are those, you know, if you Google uh, working women or if you Google, right, this is the amazing thing. If you Google working women, and I've talked about this a lot on my feed of Female Founders Month, you get the who I used to be maybe at the end of Not On The High Street, what, what my end of my reign at Not On The High Street, the suit, the high heels, yeah. the laptop, the latte, the baby on the shoulder, on the hip. If you go and search working woman in Pinterest, it's beautiful. And there is your exact example, isn't it, of how you can also use it for your business to almost gain inspiration. Yes. How is Pinterest different though, um, when it comes to selling right so and is it now becoming a platform for selling yeah so absolutely i think someone mentioned in the comments about pinterest shopping so that has been huge when they brought that in that has been a real mindset shift for users on the platform and actually so it's I'm, I'm so bad at butchering a stat <laughs> even though i talk about stats all day long i always the wrong things come out of my mouth but you're in the right company here don't worry Honestly. about it i managed to call everyone a-holes yesterday in this life <laughs> I, saw that. I did obviously i love them to death but somehow that came out because i was watching a film the night before and it sort of came out you're in the right place my love <laughs> great well take this stat with a pinch of salt but it's something like people 25 percent that they more shop there's 25 percent more shopping on pinterest than any other platform so something that's, like that i hope that's the right stat fingers crossed but people basically do buy there and it's because of things like pinterest shopping and one of the biggest things that's different in terms of other platforms that's really powerful is actually you're meeting people when they're looking for the specific thing that you are selling but they don't know that they want to get it from you yet so it's it's finding new people basically which is great there's also lots of ways to nurture your audience there as well but because of the search engine functionality, and actually here's another stat that I know is right because I say it all the time, 
97% of searches on Pinterest are non-branded. So people are searching for, for example, rather than searching Holly & Co, they might be searching working women, like you were just saying, that's a great yeah. example. So people know what they're looking for, but they don't know who to get it from yet. So they're in that buying frame of mind, yeah. but they need to discover. So you're like literally finding them at the exact point that they, that they need you, which is what yeah. makes it so powerful. Brilliant. I've got comments and questions. So Sean Toes, I think that Pinterest is a great complement to Instagram and emails for creative businesses. I would agree, huh? Th think of it as a search engine, great for imagery. Calm lettering, I'm on Pinterest, but I haven't spent much time on it recently, but still keep seeing traffic from there on my Etsy shop, right? So pushing through from Etsy, Hazel and Blue, I love Pinterest. It's my biggest platform. Misfits Bakes Vegan, thanks for actually explaining explaining this right so you're doing a great job oh thank you here we go let's keep the um answers if you can to a minute because as they're, they're coming through thick and fast right slugs and snails <laughs> i didn't know people can repin is there anywhere i can get an idiot's guide to pinterest yes so pinterest themselves are amazing at showing their creators how to use the platform so absolutely go to pinterest there's a, a tab called business i think if you set up a business account they've got loads of stuff i've got absolutely loads of stuff i've got loads of free guides and things on my website there's and what's like, your website rachelemmawaring.com right so, so we'll, we'll put that now in the comments so that everyone brilliant. can just have a look at that yeah so you've got those guides so slugs and snails lots of guides there for you two places for the guides kylie falcus how often should i be using pinterest I'm guessing daily to see results in sales. So I would say it's one of those things where there's always going to be ideals. If you can do daily, brilliant. You're going to see quicker results. But using it a couple of times a week is going to be better than nothing. Yeah. And at a bare minimum, if all you have time to do, especially if you're on Shopify, set up the Shopify app and get your products on there and, you know, like repurpose from other platforms, that's better than nothing. So whatever yeah. you can manage consistently, I would say. The maybe starting point for anyone that's not using Pinterest is give yourself a day in your diary, an entire day to go and do the basics. Yes. So as you said, and those basics, where would you find those basics for people? Come to so, your site again? Yeah. Pinterest so, business? Exactly. Yeah. I've got loads of like first steps for literally all the first things you need to do and so have Pinterest as well so Perfect. each one of those places so you could go and do that for one day and yeah. then it's a little bit like me saying I was going to run 10k <laughs> this week and I've done four and I'm now not going to be able to run until Saturday it is better that I do you know what I mean? I almost say, well, at least I did four. So at least you did that day setting up. And then basically you need to allow an amount of time. Remember, we're big fans here of diarising it. If you don't put it in the diary, an hour a week, two hours a week, it's better than what you were doing two weeks ago, which was uh, diddly squat. So yeah. that, that's, that's what we should think. Samantha Lisa Yates, I'm always worried about Pinterest being used as a resource by others to borrow designs. Am I being uptight about this? So before you answer that, just so you know, Samantha Lisa Yates, we have an Advice Hub uh, article. Go head over to holly.co, head to Advice Hub, and it's all about being copied. So if you are worried about that, we've got an entire article about being copied. But what would you say about that? Because I do think there is a lot of inspiration gathered by Pinterest. Yeah, I love this question because so many people worry about this. So what I would say is context is really important on Pinterest. So if you're worried about your designs being copied, one of the things you can do is make sure you put some text on your images that, that mentions that it's something that people can buy rather than an idea that people can copy. Now, what that isn't going to do is dissuade the people who would probably copy you from Instagram or Google or wherever. Like, copies are everywhere. It's so, it's awful. But it is a really unfortunate thing that can happen. So what do you mean by that? So let's say I've got, um, we've got a beautiful, for instance, cake in the shop yeah. at the moment in Ukrainian, the Ukrainian colours. Um, that's from uh, Richmond Cake, um, uh, Richmond Cakes. Um, see, I get all tongue tied when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> who I've known for about ten years, but anyway, um, she's got this cake. What would she put on the image? This cake is for sale. 
literally a call to action in the way that you would anywhere else. So uh, shop now, or if it's like custom designs, custom designs available, even just putting the website there is just a little indication that, okay, this isn't inspiration for me to take. This is someone. So this work. isn't someone baking it in the kitchen yeah. who just, had, you know, who's not got a business at all. And I just happen to create a creative cake. Yes. Which ultimately you're putting out there to inspire people yes this is actually saying hey this is part of a business here yes exactly right okay that's a good idea uh team or co so should i change my personal pinterest account to a business one or better to start over with a fresh account so it doesn't really matter which one you choose what i will say is a definite must is having a business account so you can either switch your personal or you can start afresh yeah. Whatever is best for you. It actually, the good thing about Pinterest is actually it's more about what you're doing now than what you've done in the past. So whatever you feel most comfortable with, but you do want a business account. A business account. account. Yeah. That's the big tip here. Definitely business account. Pink yes. line mango. Can I change the product photos that Pinterest automatically pulls from my Shopify website? It's so, you, the only way to change that is by changing it on the Shopify end. Right. So it's whatever it's your main data. image is on Shopify yeah. will be the picture that it pulls. Yes, exactly. Because it's all automatic. So yeah. Right. That's okay, great. that's great. Um, paper and Word. Would you use different photos on Pinterest to what I post on Instagram? This is a good question. Yeah, that's a great question. So it depends on what you're trying to do. So I would absolutely repurpose your Instagram content as well. But there are optimized things you can do for your Pinterest photos. For example, like including some of that text. But it yeah. doesn't have to be every single pin. Like the thing that's great about Pinterest is it's a brilliant place to experiment and also repurpose from everywhere. Like, I think you were sort of saying this as well. I literally use it as my like content library, like whatever yeah. I make anywhere else, I also put on Pinterest because it's evergreen. So I would say just try different things and don't put too much pressure on it. Uh, like yeah. you never know what could go viral on there. So yeah. yeah so, so and, and would you say it's the same audience? Because, because some, I, I suppose if you were, into pinterest big time you would repurpose everything and maybe you would create unique for pinterest yes, exactly. does you does pinterest pick up that you are creating unique for them so what they do pick up on is when you're putting fresh content to them on the platform so it it, it doesn't necessarily matter if it's been on instagram before or it's been on tiktok before or any of that as long as they haven't seen it before, that counts as fresh content. Right. So that type of repurposing is great. What they don't like as much is if you use the same content on Pinterest over and over again. So if you repeat, repeat yeah. the same stuff over and over again, they don't like that. But it doesn't matter if it's been on another place before. Become. Okay, that's great. So, uh, And can you automatically pin from social media? You can. So you can set up automatically from Instagram. Uh, I'm not sure about TikTok, actually, but there are automations you can set up. For me personally, I quite like doing it manually, probably because yeah. I like making things difficult for myself, but also because you can, you can really focus on your keywords, which are a yeah. huge thing for a search engine, obviously. So doing it manually sometimes can help you further optimize it a little bit by putting some more keywords in there but if you've got literally no time to do anything else auto posting you know, again again we were saying enough. that day that day um yeah. that we're going to spend everyone's going to put in their diary to do all of these basics you could set it up automatically i'm presuming you could go back in and then edit yeah you can it like you can go and edit the descriptions of things you can't there's certain things you can't edit you, can't you edit couldn't edit the tags the uh no okay yeah. so you, you can edit the description slightly i mean okay. of course, it's it's usually better to just kind of like with instead of having to go back and do things it's good to just like do yeah, a quick bit do of them. yeah get them in a thing um we read upcycles what scheduling tool would you use to recommend to pin and plan posts so I use Tailwind, that's my favorite. They were built with Pinterest in mind, so that's my personal favorite. You can also use Later, Buffer, Hootsuite. They've actually got a full list of um, 
approved partners on Pinterest website as well. But whatever you use at the moment is probably great, but I personally recommend Tailwind. Oh, that's so, I love these personal recommendations. Jasmine and Lily Floral Reese, should I be adding more photos as well as the ones automatically posted from my shop? And if so, how do I do that? That's a great question. So the way that I see Pinterest shopping, like your automatic shop setup, I see that as a separate thing to your organic strategy. So because that's yeah. all automated, that's like your shop, it's set up, you don't really have to worry about it once it's done, it's just working for you. Your organic strategy is like the, the original content you're creating for Pinterest or what you're repurposing from elsewhere. So if the minimum you do, again, is just repurpose from elsewhere, that's great. But you can do it through the Pinterest app by clicking the plus button. Uh, you can also do it from your desktop by using the pin it button. There's loads of ways to create on Pinterest. But just in the same way that you would upload to Instagram, I kind of, I kind of compare it to like Instagram shopping. You have that like Facebook shop set up, which is a yes. laugh. Um, <laughs> but then once it's set up, you don't just let that do the work for you. You also post other stuff. So it's kind of like that, really. Brilliant. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to... There's so many questions. <laughs> I'm going to keep you for five more minutes. Um, everyone by... Oh, the Pinterest team have tuned in. Um, and they're letting <gasps> us know how much they're loving this session. Hello, oh. everyone at Pinterest. Um, we love you. Yay, um, we love you. Sparkles Eco, Eco Shop. I have blocked my afternoon out for Pinterest. Slugs and snails. I fell back into Pinterest after last week's SOS. And I'm bloody inspired by this. I'm going to use this as my new exciting way to reach people. Crayon box, amazing. Already feeling inspired. And I'm going to write myself a board to create a day. Uh, Popsy Clunk, fabulous advice. The Little Coach House, how good is this? We should be Pinterest uh, motivators for each other. Uh, Maureen, that's right, by the way. Everyone here, if you're... Why doesn't everybody have a look at all of the names coming through on the comments, pick five that interest you and go and follow them on Pinterest. Yeah. If we all did that, why don't you pick 10 for instance? Uh, um, you know, how much would that help everyone? Marine and Gold Creations, checking out your website right now. Um, I have been told that Pinterest is a resource I should be using, but I never really considered it. My mind has officially been changed. Thank you. Yeah. Look at that. Well yeah. done. Um, Itsy Wincy Studio, I'm so inspired to actually use my business Pinterest account. It has been my on my to-do list for so, so long. Right, we've got four more questions here. Popsy Clunk, can you pin directly from Shopify? Yes. Yeah. We, yeah. we know that, Popsy Clunk, so the yes. The Thoughtful Potter is the mobile app the best way to use Pinterest? And are there as many features on it as the desktop version? Yes, so I would say a bit of both, but especially for the newer formats like Idea Pins, which is a different type of pin, definitely use the app because it has more functionality in the builder. Yep. Uh, but you can also, the other stuff, you can use desktop as well. But the app is great for sure. The app is great. So everyone asking, is the app good for Pinterest? Should I use my, is it complicated? Lots of questions coming up right now. Literally, like, can you see how many questions are coming up yeah. in a second, right? <laughs> um, so yes, the app is great. Mobile, use it. Harriet, yeah. Evelyn, um, how would you add text into the pins from Shopify? So you can either do that on Canva manually. You can also do it on Pinterest as well. So you can do it within, if you're doing idea pins, you can do it within idea pins or in the pin builder itself. If you press plus, there is an option to put it on there. Uh, it's a little bit more basic, that one. So if you're doing like a standard pin, I would recommend do it using something like Canva. Brilliant. Can you use Pinterest for WooCommerce? Yeah. 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 Brilliant. If there you've we got go. a website or a sales channel, you can you can pin there. You can pin. Um, we're going to we're saving all the questions for all the frantic questions coming through because <laughs> uh, we could actually have um, our dear expert here for till tonight. Uh, we're going to be doing a Q and A maybe with Rachel uh, after this, and we'll put this on stories. Um, how would you? Uh, okay, is there any good time to pin on Pinterest? Um, is there a good time of day? So 
there could be it's good to pin when your audience are online in the same way as instagram yep. but i will say because pins are evergreen which means people could find them for years which is another amazing thing about pinterest right it doesn't matter as much as some of the other platforms so you can think about it maybe don't post at like 4 a.m <laughs> unless you're unless yep. your audience are online then uh, or in other countries but yeah it's, it's not as important but you, you can think about it Fantastic. And last one here. Is it necessary to use ads to grow on Pinterest? So ads are great on Pinterest. Personally, I haven't explored them that much yet. In fact, at all. I haven't used ads in my wedding business. It was all 100% organic. Uh, and for me, I haven't used them now. I do know people who've had amazing success with them. So they are definitely worth playing with if you're curious, but it's not essential at all. Okay, and last question, and then I will let you go. And there's lots of comments, by the way, saying this has made them move to Pinterest, right? So this is absolutely fantastic. And we will absolutely um, let everyone know how to get hold of you as well. Um, what's your Instagram handle? It's just at Rachel Emma Waring. Brilliant. Um, can it services, you were a wedding um, planner? Stylist stylist your wedding stylist so that's a service vicky yeah. floros has, um floros has said how does an interior designer benefit from pinterest no products just a service so yeah it's all about discovery so people discovering you so i would say create some valuable content for your ideal customers and then find a way of bringing them over to your website so whether that's through blog posts or even like just good valuable content on pinterest you can build a presence there and then you can introduce them to your service so, so in if you're an, shopping so if you're an interior designer i would want to see all of your style yes because if i knew wow this person has got taste this is incredible i've never seen a kitchen done this way yeah. who is this person link to website off you go absolutely there yeah. we are that's how it works you have been amazing oh thank uh, you. honestly i now want to spend my whole day doing <laughs> pinterest as well pinterest team will love you as well we're going to do stories that. afterwards i hope people come and use your services you've got free services as well for everybody um but yeah you're amazing and let's keep in contact definitely thank you so so much for having me this has oh, been a joy <laughs> thank you thank you take care bye thank you so much bye oh my goodness we've got so many this is so good um tiger lily jewelry Lindsay, i'm coming over to you now definitely good to spend more time on pinterest and refresh my content creatorship pinterest's personality and vision it is your workings out it's what you create um it's how to inspire don't you love that it's the inside it's like your scrapbook of everything that you are out there. Because guess what? We actually want to buy from people who know what they're talking about, not just about their product, but about their industry, that they are part of it, that that interior designer has got such unbelievable taste. It doesn't even matter if it's not even that person's work. I mean, you would expect to see their work there, but you would just want to know, this is someone who I want to work with. Right, I'm heading over to you, Lindsay. Are you ready? Um, I can't wait to chat to you about, I believe, and um, I might have this wrong, that it was when your Instagram account was hacked, right? That we, that you basically needed other platforms and then this has taken you on a journey. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Holly. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I can't believe you put me on after Rachel. How on earth am I going to follow that? No, but you know what? I was thinking that about you. I was thinking, poor Lindsay. Poor Lindsay. Poor Lindsay, yeah. Poor Lindsay. No, but I want to hear from you about, firstly, why don't you introduce yourself and then we'll get into it. Okay, so I'm Lindsay Day. I'm one half of Wood, Paper, Scissors. Um, myself and my husband, we make personalised wooden gifts and homewares. We've been selling or not on the high street since 2012, maybe 2011. And um, our business has grown over the years. And five years ago, just as you set up Holly & Co, we re relocated to Cornwall, which yes, had always been a dream of ours and we'd never ever worked out how we were gonna do it. And then one day we just said, you know what? We, we, we've got to a point where we could do this anywhere now. Let's go and do it somewhere where we really, really want to be. 
and we've been here for five years. So I can't yeah. believe that. I remember no, when I you were moving there. You sent me pictures of the house, and we've obviously known each other for over a decade, and um, <laughs> have had a beautiful journey. We were only sixteen when we met, weren't we? I know. Can you believe it? <laughs> Just out of school, it was incredible. Um, so tell me, um, am I right? Am I wrong that you you sort of saw the fruits of Pinterest um, when your ha account was hacked. Am I totally making that up? Well, no, there's, there is kind of two, two strands to it, really. Um, I was one of the original people on a waiting list in the UK for Pinterest. So back in wow. 2010, USA had Pinterest, but we didn't have it here. And I really, really wanted it because I was a graphic designer, I was a visual person and really organised. And it's just, this is the app for me. This is what I want. I want to be able to organise my life beautifully and be able to find things instead of having bookmarks on your computer. You know how it's always like, oh, I'll yeah. save it in a bookmark. So that's no use. You look at it, you can't remember what it was. But on Pinterest, you could see everything so beautifully laid out. So I was on the waiting list. And in 2013, I was allowed to join. And then I was invited to a meeting. I had no idea what I was going to. I was going to a bar in Old Street in London to meet with Pinterest. <laughs> and, um, and this lady turned up with her dog. <laughs> And she said, hi, I'm Pinterest. And she said, there's only two of us in the UK. And I said, is the other one the dog? <laughs> and um, so, yeah, so that was it. So it started really, really early, but it was from a personal point of view, really, rather than from a business point of view. The business side of it has grown. Um, and I'd say since we last spoke, that has really taken off from your advice and also from um, getting hacked on Facebook. My personal account got hacked and um, so my business account got hacked and I was loath to set up another one because nobody wanted to help. Nobody, nobody from um, Facebook was interested. It's just how it works, I think. But the knock on effect of that was all of my business tools on Instagram were also um, restricted so I couldn't link to any of my products I couldn't link to any of my new products so it was it was just such a mess and I thought you know what Pinterest is still there everything is still there everything I've posted all the blog posts I yeah. did like 12 years ago 10 years ago were all still on there let's see how we can explore and how that can grow the best way to pin things and do things organically and authentically which is you know obviously that's what Pinterest is all about. So for me, on a personal thing, I've put so much more effort into that. And on Etsy and on uh, and on our own website, that's where the majority of our sales come from. Really? So Pinterest mm. is now, so the top of that, or those are the top four? Uh, sorry, so say that again. You, did, so you listed Etsy, Pinterest. Were you listing it? in order of sales or were you listing it those are the four platforms you get most of your sales the, the platform that we get most of our sales is still not on the high street but yeah. our shop but our, on shopify and on etsy it's like 90 to 95 percent of the sales that we get on those two platforms oh, sorry. Got you. Come, the come traffic is coming from pinterest got you uh, yeah so sorry, that's from a, pinterest yeah so that's amazing so Potentially, when you got hacked, it it, yeah. it it sharpened your focus again on Pinterest, saying, right, what do I have available for me? And so yeah. now, would you say that Pinterest is uh, sig a significant, as in not the majority, but a tool now that is a proper sales channel for you? Yeah, defi definitely. Um, and and I, I kind of overlooked it to start with because because it was an app. Well, it was it was an app. It's a it was a. Um, a platform that I just really loved. But after I spoke to you the last time when I when I came on the pharmacy and you and you, yes. you you gave me some ideas as to how I could use it for business. I hadn't really used it for business until that point, but I started to create we were moving house at the time and I, I had these ideas for beautiful gardens and how I wanted my garden to look. So it was all exactly it is the thing the difference for me with Instagram and Pinterest is on Pinterest, it's absolutely fine to be really extravagant and really aspirational and really yeah. sort of, uh, and nobody goes, oh, look at her with a new yeah. planter in the garden that's from, yeah. do you know what I mean? Because it, it's the majority of it isn't real. <laughs> the majority of it is just this sort of little wonderland in your head. And, yeah. and 
so I was creating all of these wonderful boards around the garden. And then at the same time, we'd um, designed a new bird box with succulents that sit in the top. And I posted that into that board and we sold loads of them. And I thought that's yeah. because it was within yeah. a setting of other things. So people might not have come to me looking for a bird box or might not, they might have been looking for garden benches yeah. or what colour to paint my shed or DIY bunting for the garden, which is another thing that I'd done in lockdown that just sort of went went crazy, like how to make rag bunting. I never thought that that would, you know, but I did it as a blog post. So I linked all of the blog pictures across and um, that, yeah, and then and then put the bird box on there as well. And, and we've had so many views on those because I think it's because it's within a, within a load of other images that kind of all fit nicely together. And it's just like, what's in your head? You know? <laughs> yes, yeah. And this is what I just love about what you're saying here is how fitting it is for this community. I mean, Definitely. you know, the fact that you're going in there, as you said, so I'm looking for, I'm just a, a person out there and I just want to go into the garden fantasy world. So I go yeah. into Pinterest, I go into the garden fantasy world, I come across you and I actually I'm loving all the things you pinned. And you be, might be pinning from America, from Japan, who knows yeah. where. But because I'm in that world and I see then something maybe that I can afford, a, a bird box, yeah. yeah? So suddenly I go from craziness, which I'm so inspired to, to your bird box. I'm like, yeah. what is this? This is, I'm in the mood. I'm in the place. You've set yeah. the content, you set the scrapbook. I'm here. Now I convert. And I bet yeah. the numbers must be so high for that, whatever that dynamic is, to conversion. Because yep. that is exactly, you just want a bit of that mood board. Tell me how I yep. can get it. And then and you the, click to purchase. Well, and the funny thing is, when I set that board up, I didn't actually have a garden. <laughs> so, yeah. But nobody knew. <laughs> no one knew. It's all yeah, smoke but, and mirrors. <laughs> yeah, but we, we got these bird boxes and we had got like a, a tiny, tiny little courtyard that, there was hardly anything in but we made this bunting and we did these bird boxes and I did a little herb garden in some pots and 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 people loved it and you didn't need to have a huge garden but you know in my mind I got a huge garden and on Pinterest I got, I got a huge garden and it's the aspirational yeah. side of it really that appeals to me yeah I, I totally agree god it's making so much sense here let me just read these um i'm just a bit embarrassed that my glasses are fogging up i'm so excited <laughs> popsy clunk light bulb moment here i have shopify but not sure the best way to drive traffic it sounds like pinterest is the answer uh very crafty putting pins onto other boards is a genius idea tiger lily jewelry this is so good definitely going to spend more time on pinterest i'm going to refresh all my content oh, yeah. creator it. Pinterest's personality and vision. It is your workings out. Oh, I've, I've said that one. Um, absolutely loving this. Um, I'm going to work on my Pinterest shop from Slinky Prints. We are re red upcycles. I see you're a verified merchant on Pinterest. What does that mean? I think it's because I've got over a certain number of sales and I've been on there for a certain amount of time. Um, so when they, do I they check your, so are they monitoring your sales? Because you're not selling through Pinterest. It's going to no. Etsy, for instance. I don't actually even have my Shopify shop. It's connected, but I haven't got it set up on there as a board directly from Shopify. I've gone in and manually gone, oh, here's a beautiful four foot platter board. Therefore, I'm going to put this on my um, I've got a board called Let's Celebrate and it's yeah. uh, party planning. So the party food, the tablescape, um, uh, the invitations, all those sorts of things on there. And my lovely board in the, mid in the middle of the table. I don't, I, for me, that feels more genuine and it feels less salesy. And, and I, I, so I don't I would think... say also, you might be very, oh, hang on. I think verified merchant is if you have your website it, connected. Then. There yeah. we go. That's so the, web, the, the website is connected, but I don't web have it set up as a specific board. Okay, there we go. Indie Spirit Jewelry. Where in the world are most of your customers from on Pinterest? They're still from the UK. They're from the UK. Okay, yeah, that's it. Yeah, we don't, we don't do too many sales internationally from Shopify. Quite a few on Etsy, but the majority is still UK based. That's great. And, oh, if, forgive me um, reading out your handle. I've read it out before and I always get it a little bit wrong, but maybe not. 
Le Chauvin's France. Um, how do you connect your blog to Pinterest? Well, you can put it in, so in, in the top part of your profile, you can put it in there. You can go in via your settings and you can put it in there. The space to put in a website, you can put your blog in there. And when I write a blog post, I create a button um, using Canva or something like that, yeah. right at the bottom, really small with some text on that says something like how to make the, the world's best Cornish pasties. And then when I'm pinning, I will pin that button because a long button with some text on, Pinterest really like that because it's a visual thing and it's an, and it's an, it's an information thing as well. So I will sp sporadically pin all of the pictures in the blog, but then I will also pin the thing at the bottom with the infographic on it. So that's how I, that's the best way that I find to connect to the blog is actually through content. Through content. And do you make that on Canva? I use, I did used to use Canva. I can't remember what the one I use now is, but Canva, there's a few, and most there's of them a few are free. That you can make your images from. Yeah. Um, Rebecca Kitchen Jewelry, do videos work well on Pinterest? Have you done that, Lindsay? Videos? Yeah. I haven't done any dances. <laughs> No, 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 no dances, but just, <laughs> but it they, does I work think Pinterest in... are really encouraging mm -hmm. video as well. Yeah, so I think you can, you can record a 60 second video. Um, I've done a few on mine, I've done a few tutorials when I've been making banana bread or I've been, we've got people over for dinner and I'm, I'm making some curries and things like that. Um, so I'll take some still shots, I'll take some little snippets of videos, just sort of three seconds. My daughter has got 60,000 followers on TikTok, just out of nowhere, I know not even dancing. So she's given me some tips on what to do. <laughs> Maybe you should have Eva on to talk to you about TikTok. <laughs> but she does, she just posts little, she, she'll take a three second clip of something, three second clip of something else, a three second clip of something else, splice them all together with the sounds that are trending with some text over the top. And th the simpler it is, the better. And like the hook right at the beginning so people can see straight from the off. And yeah, I think to start with, there was only a few uh, users on Pinterest that had that, but I think everybody's got that function now. And it's really yeah. funny and it's, it's really nice. And it comes up at the top on your page when you've created content so people can see that straight away. Oh, that is fantastic. Um, yeah. Emma Jackalone, it's like the next step from lifestyle photography. You are literally selling an aspirational lifestyle. I totally yeah, agree, totally. Emma. Yeah. Melody Rider Design, so exciting. This is such a great idea for creating boards and adding my work into them. So a lot of people I might be think came on here thinking that the entire board would just be them. That's the whole point. No. The whole point is you're just in your boards. Dolly Face yeah. by Jessica Lee. This is making so much sense. Thank you. Pogov, oh, of, Pog of and Ango. Dusting off my Pinterest account now. Thanks to you, Lindsay. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> and Making Stitches podcast. Feeling inspired. Not touched Pinterest for over a year. Time to blow off the cobwebs, I think. Two more yeah. questions, if I may, Lindsay. Enchanted yeah. Island, where do you stand with using other people's images? Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? You... Yeah, I mean, that is the nature of the platform. Um, yeah, you're pinning, so... like, your pictures for yeah. your garden were all yeah. other people's images, weren't they? So, so if I was pinning something from Holly & Co, I would pin it into my board, but when someone clicks on it, it links back to Holly & Co. It's not yeah. credited to me. So the only yeah. thing I would say is if you... I never go onto someone's website and take an image and put that on my board. It is all, you click on it, you, you yes. reshare it and it pins back. So there's always a loop. Um, and I would say if you can't, it, you can't just be posting other people's images on your, on your thing because it would create a dead link and Pinterest yes. hates dead links. So, and also it's someone else's work. So yeah. You know, that's you, not what we do, do as no, a community. That's not, that's not what it's for, and, and that's not what we do. No, calm lettering. In your opinion, how would handmade watercolor paints fit into Pinterest? Oh my gosh, I mean, how well, wouldn't you, it? Just to start, you, you could do some beautiful, um, uh, uh they're, they're called um, create like creative pins, so the ones with the with the video on them, you, you could do some little snippets of, you know, you at work and how, how something comes together. So, you know, the first few seconds, the second few seconds, and then adding the detail at the end. 
um, and you could write blog posts about your inspiration for where you, you know, what, what where, where, where you work, um, your, your workshop, you, your space, your, that kind of exactly. thing. Exactly. I'm thinking also like watercolour, like, you know, there is, you could do an entire board, couldn't you, of just all the equipment people use for watercolours. You could do an There's entire a whole board. Story. Yeah, our entire board of the settings, people. So all the images of where people have actually created watercolors from. What about yeah. amazing creative sheds and work studios? Yeah. You, do you know what I mean? That's yeah. the thing. And then you would drop in your video or what you're doing into yeah. that setting because yeah. that's what you're you're showing, isn't it? It's it, oh yeah. god, I love this. It's like um, yeah. it's like you that, can, you can really thing. deep. Yeah, you can really deep dive into it. You, you start off just thinking, oh, well, I'll, I'll just pin a couple of things about my paintbrushes or something. And then and then that sparks another idea. And then, yeah, it, it can start off just something and then, off. And then it just becomes this whole world and you're off. Yeah, you're off. And There's then no, you're pinning, no stopping pinning, you once pinning. you start. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You lose, you know, a lot of a lot of divorces have happened because of Pinterest. Just kidding. But it is a bit like that. Um, Coom Cornwall, I see you can also sync your Instagram stories to Pinterest and they play as a video. Is this worth yeah. doing? I personally, what I do is if I am going to use some content from my stories on Instagram, I will save them down onto my phone and then re-upload really? them to um that's what rachel said not do it automatically to pinterest yeah because you can change the sound you can play with the settings a little bit and it means that you're creating slightly different content on the two different platforms even though the subject is the same i i would i would um that's the way i would well that's the way i prefer to work but i think you can just transfer it straight across but i don't know whether your reach will be as much yeah um lindsay before we finish tell me what, uh, where we can find you. So if we were all headed over to Pinterest now, what would mm -hmm. we search? Um, wood, paper, scissors on wood. Pinterest. Wood, paper, scissors, fantastic. Yep. And um, there we will find your gloriousness. Um, I am so, I'm just so desperate to spend the entire day on Pinterest now. It's just ridiculous. Oh, do that then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to do that. I mean, that's it. Yeah. Um, and you again so so much for no you're uh, welcome and thank here. you for having me on thank you oh, Holly you're just so wonderful and I'm so <laughs> so glad that that worked out in a way not worked out because you resolved it didn't you in the end your account it's sort of resolved it's not I still don't have all of the functions and I've lost faith a little bit in the Instagram Facebook situation it was it was kind of a bit all or nothing for a while and it's a bit nothing now <laughs> and is that because yeah, is that because of the way that we basically cannot get hold of anybody? We can't, we, we realise how unimportant, potentially, not unimportant, but you know what I mean? Like, that we are, when anything... Was, I, just always, I just always thought there would be some support. I always thought that there would be somebody on the other end of an email, and I've had no response from anybody at either platform. Nobody wants to help. And I just thought, I'm not going to invest all of my time and energy. And actually, what I've what I've done in the last sort of six, seven months is I've invested time in creating new products and uh, and doing the thing that I was supposed to do in the first place and, and writing blog posts about them and sharing it on Pinterest and uploading new products. And, you know, that that's the thing that I feel where my time is really better spent. And, and, and Lindsay, and has that, um, just in the last minute, has that been revolutionary for you? Yeah, completely. <laughs> it's completely. Has it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I actually feel like a much calmer person. I used to always panic whenever I press post going to Instagram, whereas I don't feel that panic on Pinterest. <laughs> on yeah, Pinterest, it just feels like, a, oh, this is lovely. I really love this this board here that I'm creating, and I'm going to come back to it. And and I and I never felt like that on Instagram. I always felt quite anxious about it and putting things from my personal life out into the public domain and. Um, and people recognise you when you're out and about, and it's a bit, you know, if or I recognise other people, and it's like, oh my goodness, there's, you know, oh I shouldn't, look yeah. at them, you know. <laughs> yeah. Whereas Pinterest, it's, it's it's not like it's not like that at all, and um, and 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 yeah, it's it for me, it just feels a, a, a much nicer place to be. It's more authentic. It's more how we are as a business, and it, it seems to be working. So while it's working, oh. we'll, we'll carry on with it. Brilliant, Lindsay. Amazing advice. Sending you guys, you two brilliant human beings, so much love. 
Thank you, Here's Holly. Here's our next 10 years, Lindsay. Yes. Lots of love to you. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Lots Bye. of love. Bye. 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 Everyone, to, you can head over to our website on holly.co. How to use Pinterest to boost your business is an Advice Hub article. Go over to the Advice Hub. There is an entire article there. How to use Pinterest to boost your business. You can also check out um, on Pinterest, Holly and Co. A-N-D, not the ampersand, at Holly and Co. Give us a follow. Um, you will not regret it because it's pretty gorgeous. Um, hopefully you found this session brilliant today. I have. I want to spend my whole day on Pinterest. I can't, but maybe I can spend my whole night on Pinterest. Uh, tomorrow we've got Coach Kate. This is going to be our last session with her and it's going to be about how when you get triggered and I'm not here, what you're going to do about it next time. We're going to talk about the fact that we need to now plan the mindset moving forward. She's got some amazing tips for you. Um, and I just can't wait to see you all again. Lots of love to you all.